Yo. <laughs> you know, Simok, sometimes I give you a hard time. Sometimes you give me a hard time. But, uh, you know, even if I say something belittling to you, which I do very often, it's always a joke. Sometimes it's serious. But it doesn't matter. You've got a thick skin. And we can talk it out like man. So if I say something that's out of turn, you'll tell me about it. And then we'll work it out, we'll hash it out, and we'll come to an agreement, and everything will be fine, right? That's called not being insecure. That's exactly what it's called. <laughs> yeah. It's having a thick skin. And to be honest, if you're going to be uh, talking about China in any way that's not 100% positive, you have to have a thick skin. You have to. Because, you know, you're, you're going to be attacked no matter what. Yeah. Anyway, we thought we'd talk about the fact that, unfortunately, China, well, at least the Chinese leadership, is incredibly insecure. Sure. So, how about we hit the road? This lovely, beautiful, awesome place, which is full of pollution and trucks and temples. Let's do it. <laughs> Some dough, some dough, some dough, 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 dough. Don't know why I'm stuck with that in my head. <coughs> it's not a nice song to sing. Ah, oh, my nose bone. Yeah. We've been traveling for, if you've been keeping up with us, uh, for a good many hours. Yes. Yes. And, you know, we were thinking about uh, a cartoon character, really. Yeah. You know, you know that because my name is Winston, right? When I was younger, <coughs> I get people, you know, kids like to, like, rip people off or like, you know, make up silly nicknames for people. Uh, they, they would call me one of two things. One of them was Winnie Mandela, <laughs> which annoyed me to no end. Because <laughs> they would just constantly call me Winnie Mandela, which is stupid because I'm not an ANC communist terrorist, first of all. Right. And uh, second of all, the last time I checked, I'm not a black woman, but... <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not a, a, a genderist or whatever it is. Sure. Um, but the other thing people always used to call me is Winnie the Pooh. Because, you know, Winston, Winnie the Pooh. And, you know, Pooh is shit, basically. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So they're like, Winnie the Pooh, you know, that kind of nonsense, right? Right. Um, it's better, you than, better than no eyebrow, boy. I guess. Well, is it, though? I mean, being called a communist terrorist or a cartoon bear. I think might be a little worse than the guy with no eyebrows. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll give that to you. You can have yeah. that. Okay, anyway. Um, the thing is, right? You learn as a child to just take it. And it's, it's one of those things where you're like, you know, you either get very upset or you just deal with it and uh, move on. And realize that the kind of people that were calling me Winnie the Pooh or Winnie Mandela right now, some of them are successful, but I think most of them are just wallowing in in the horrible, horribleness that is South Africa right now, those that didn't escape. Sure. And I can say, ha ha, look at you guys. It's this beautiful place I'm riding in with all this pollution and chaos around me. And you're stuck there with your beautiful <laughs> blue skies and your crime, you know? <laughs> nice. Anyway. It's a bit of a weird uh, comparison, but yeah. You are a but sorry, you are intellectually, intellectually disabled, disabled. Because this is the bike lane and you should not be in the bike lane. No. Anyway, sorry. Um, so, why would I be talking about Winnie the Pooh so much? Well, you must be dear friends with the great leader Xi Jinping. <laughs> you know, here's the thing about that, right? I think everybody knows by now, since we talked about it, but Winnie the Pooh is constantly being banned in China. Yeah. Um, and that's because, you know, the leader, Xi Jinping, is very sensitive. And he doesn't like the fact that people compare him to Winnie the Pooh. Right. Because let's face it he does look like Winnie the Pooh yeah he does I mean in a in a fun sort of a cartoony way you know right. if you look at pictures of the Winnie the Pooh next to pictures of Xi Jinping there is a striking resemblance sure but I mean it's not meant as an insult it's meant as a kind of a funny thing why I mean I don't understand why he doesn't like it because it actually endears him to sure. to people more I feel of I feel as if he's less threatening if he's a cartoon bear. I'd be owning that. Yeah, exactly. I honestly, when I see him as Winnie the Pooh, I actually kind of feel like, oh, he's actually a nice guy. Right. You know, he's he not... Could've, he could have really ran into that one. Yeah, I know. He. I don't know why he didn't run with it, but instead he's like, no! No more Winnie the Pooh. 
how right. dare you and then he like bans Winnie the Pooh um, and we'll give some examples of how that was but you know it's, it's so bad now that even people self censor themselves like there was that um, Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, video game review and in all the screenshots they actually just blurred out Winnie the Pooh <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's petty and ridiculous isn't it it is so um, maybe you could talk a little bit more about this it all ties into face um, you know your image that you project to the to society is the, one of the most important things in China and in a leadership position um, if people you know rule over uh, over other people whether it's in a company or it's in the government things like this it's a very it's a very big no-no to poke fun at that right and sure. I think it's a very Western characteristic. It looks ridiculous to us. Yeah. But the, the cultural difference here is that I feel like a lot of Westerners are very anti-establishment. And we grew up doing this. We all make fun of the teacher, right? We all poke fun at the principal, maybe Mr. Griffith with a wooden leg that got busted for soliciting a, a prostitute. That was my principal. Anyway, um, we, we tend to poke fun at people in authority because we all like to think that everyone is equal, right? But sure. in reality, we understand that manager, managerial te um, you know, uh, positions, uh, bosses, and actual leadership characteristics are, are celebrated. Just people like to keep checks and balances on the whole thing. And poking fun at a president or something like this is a very, very important part of American comedy and, and uh, culture in general. You know, making fun of political foibles and, you know, the fact that you can see all these memes about Donald Trump and stuff. Watch out, truck. And yeah. political cartoons have always been part of American society. So I think, you know, Western society in general, like even British, British society, all the, you know, making fun of the parliament or the royal family and things like this. It's just what we do, right? Yeah, correct. So, you have to understand that it is ridiculous to us to see something like Winnie the Pooh being banned, but in China you do not make fun of political leaders. So no. even though people wanted to kind of make a lighthearted joke about him looking like Winnie the Pooh, it boils down to the fact that you can't look like you're being belittled if you're in a leadership position in China and it looks to us like insecurity. But actually to them, that strength is cracking down on that. It's being, I am so powerful and I am your leader that you can't talk shit about me like that, right? Correct. It's like you may not disrespect the party leaders, right? Right, yeah. right. So yeah. that's a huge, I think looking insecure, looking like a little, like a little insecure bully in the West is a very weak trait. But in China, nobody's seeing it like that. I don't think, if you ask like my Chinese friends and stuff, the fact that Winnie the Pooh is banned, they kind of just expect that. Yeah. Because that's just not what you do. They're not pissed off that people are making fun of Xi Jinping necessarily, but they're they're in complete understand in complete understanding about why things are banned when it's it, may, it belittles or it looks like you're belittling an authority figure. So it's that's just the basic kind of cultural breakdown of this whole situation. Agreed. Agreed. I mean that that is what it is. It's it's silly, but to be honest, from a Western perspective, it honestly does look like China is very insecure and sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, because you very often hear the term, you have hurt the feelings of the Chinese people. Sure. Um, and this is for any anything, anything at all, like, uh, oh, this person did a presentation and, and the map, they forgot that they needed to use the one that has Taiwan included in the map, you know? Right, right. Um, meanwhile, it's just innocent. It's just like some dude putting a PowerPoint together. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, China will start to boycott whatever company the guy works for, or start to send its hordes of nationalist Wu Maos to go and leave comments, hate comments all over this guy's like social media and stuff. Where it's just a, an innocent little mistake, and most people would be like, "Oh, okay, look, the guy just didn't know." Um, you know, it's no big deal. It's just a map, you know. But for uh, <laughs> Chinese people, they're so sensitive that they they have to make a big hoo ha out of it. At least that's sure. what it seems. You know. Now I. I want to say that that cultural difference that I pointed out is a very Asian thing, but it's, it's a lot more complicated than that because we were watching a movie the other day. It was uh, called From Beijing with Love. Oh, I love Stephen that Stephen Chow movie. Absolutely yeah. love Stephen Chow movies. Love Hong Kong movies. Probably some of my favorite things in the world. And the reason that I bring this up is because there were multiple times in the movie where China was being made fun of. Mainland China, right? Yeah. yeah. Particularly the government and the army. but. 
You know what? They were also making fun of Hong Kong society and themselves, right? The absolute shallowness of some of the uh, the way things work in business and in politics and all that kind of stuff in Hong Kong. They were allowed, and it was it was part of the comedy the whole situation. So, Asian Asian culture aside, it's still it still like happens, right? You look at you can go to Japan and people can make fun of Shinjo Abe, right? Sure. They'll paint signs, they'll have protests, they'll make cartoons and all this kind of stuff. So politics, um, sorry, cultural differences aside, Asian democracies have absolutely no problem poking fun. You see the uh, this game that just came out in Taiwan, where they uh, portrayed Xi Jinping as like Winnie the Pooh, yeah, and it was you know, mass boycotted. Yeah, right? you, you, they basically got shut down. Their whole company got shut right. down more or less because of that. Though. But they they have no yeah. problem making fun of their own their own president, their own government, their own leadership, and. The same goes for the West, like I said. So now we have to break down the actual insecurity of the situation. Because, yeah, it is a cultural difference, but it is real insecurity. And there, it really boils down to this. Yeah. The CCP, the party of China, is incredibly scared. Because there is a growing dissent within the party that nobody is allowed to know about. Sure. And if everyone's jockeying for power and suppressing each other, and you, know, you have the Boshi Lai situation, all that kind of stuff, when you have a party that's vying for its own survival and trying to get its own party members in line, everything becomes a knee-jerk reaction. Everything becomes worrying. Every Everything becomes a threat. And that's why you see President Xi is so brutal in his censorship of, of society, is because there's a lot going on that we don't know about, right? There's a lot of shit going on in the party that, you know, probably threatens his rule. And when you have utmost powerful rule over something, you don't want to let it go, right? You know, power, what is it? What is the, uh, what is that phrase? Absolute power. No, power corrupts absolutely and, abs uh, what's it? Yeah, whatever. That, that old that, that thing, yeah. Having so, a lot of power is bad. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, yeah. basically, you look at China, you look at China, you look at the CCP, you look at the party, you see symptoms of some sort of breakdown um, with security because if you're gonna go after cartoon characters I mean no one no one can be that insecure but you can be that insecure when you have something to prove when you have a real agenda to make sure that you stay in power right correct correct and I think it creates a huge paranoia and that's why we see such weird weird crackdowns and censorship yeah I mean they censored Pepper the Pig yeah, as well yeah. and uh, it's just because it was like symbolizing rebellion at some point yeah. you know Right. Silly things like that. Right. I mean, that's that's just the thing, though. Um, I, I I have to say, though, at least from my perspective, I do think that a huge swath of the Chinese um, population are just very insecure. Mm. It's the guys that come and leave those silly comments on our videos and stuff. The Wumaos. They're just. It's insecurity, and I feel bad for them. I do. But I also think it's quite ridiculous that you would. Oops! There's an accident. See, yeah. got a little boom, one there. Boom, boom. No one's hurt though. It's going so slow. Yep. Uh, it's just kind of silly, mm. you know. <laughs> it is. Poor old Winnie the Pooh. I really think that they should have fixed that. He has but, a honey problem, but don't we all? Yeah. You know, don't we all have our own vices and problems? Who's Piglet there, though? Jiang Zemin? Uh, I can't remember. I saw some pictures. There, we'll dig them up. But they definitely yeah. made someone Piglet. They did. Yeah, I know for that sure. Obama's Tigger, right? Yeah. So and who's who's Donald Trump then? I don't even know. Is he in the Winnie the Pooh lore? I don't know. We'll have to look up some Winnie the Pooh Trump uh, fan fiction. Shinzo Abe is Eeyore. Oh, right, right. Remember that Eeyore. famous picture of the sure. very uncomfortable handshake between Xi Jinping and Shinzo Abe? And you don't see that getting banned <laughs> in Japan. No, no. You know what I mean? It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. That's it's like one of the best pictures ever. Here, we're going to put it up. Honestly, I, I, you know, before we go, I want to show, I want to show people actually how bad this can get. Right. Um, if you look at like a one-party dictatorship, kind of like Vietnam, right? Yeah. And you look at a religious movement that could be branded as a cult. Let's be honest, Falun Gong. Yeah. Watch out. Sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you look at you look at a, a religious organization like the Falun Gong. Right. It was wildly popular in Vietnam. Right. right government didn't do anything about it it mm -hmm. was fine it was legal right yeah how many Falun Gong posters and protests and all that stuff do you see here not many well zero, zero. because it was allowed right yeah it was a fad that actually fizzled out right and what happened was China got all 
it's crazy it, like nuts kind of Winnie the Pooh style and they're like whoa 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 so you're telling me there's yeah. a bunch of crazies in the park doing breathing exercises right 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 they're mass formate they're making a formation this must be a threat to our political power That's right brutal crackdown and the following gong has never been more popular because of its negative you know portrayal they use all the CCP stuff as fodder to yeah. be like, listen, they're they're executing us, they're imprisoning us. Look at all these human rights atrocities, and many yeah. of them are true. Harvesting but it, our organs. Harvesting our, but it became it became much bigger than it than it should have been. Sure, sure. And that's what happens is China really just goes ape shit when they think something is like embarrassing or a threat and things like this, and the rest of the world just laughs. Well, it's called the Streisand effect, it right? Is. They that's haven't what, learned that. That's what kind of happened with the, the Falun Gong, is the Streisand right. effect. Yeah. People wouldn't know about it, but now they do, you know. Right, right. Uh, and if you ever watch Shen Yun, that dancing show, just remember that's just uh, Falun Gong propaganda. Sure. Nice dancing and stuff, I guess. Sure. If you're interested in that kind of thing. I'm not a huge dance fiend. Mm, I know you're going to just love seeing traditional Chinese customs and people dancing oh, around. Oh man, that is just one of my passions of I life. I know, dude. Well, mm. you always have been the minority guy. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sure. yeah. Uh, I, I think it's silly. I think we can all agree that it's really silly, but at the same time, it, it is really oppressive and, and crappy when you live in China because... Right. Very often, people with very innocent um, motivations and people just doing things and just going on with their lives, they get affected by this because, oh, all of a sudden, I'm not allowed to um, buy Winnie the Pooh bed sheets for my kid because, you know, it's just banned or, you know, uh, the thing that I used to like to watch on TV. Oh, no, sorry, it's been deemed immoral, so I can't watch, right. you know, singing shows anymore or whatever. Right. It's really freaking annoying. Um, and censorship like that is never good. No. Um, I grew up with that in South Africa. There was a heavy censorship of the media, um, you know, back in the day. Okay. And it was never fun. Like right. Certain movies weren't allowed to be shown in South Africa. Certain TV shows weren't, went against the sort of political uh, ideals of the time. Um, and it was crappy. And I hate it. And censorship is... is trash so anyway i uh, agree i don't think it's, it's a good way to shape censorship society. is this <coughs> censorship is that right there right there that, that's that, censorship that. great way to like ruin the countryside guys great awesome good job that's fantastic, fantastic. yeah anyway uh sorry is there anything you'd like to tell our subscribers before we sign off let us know what you think down below i think uh not just about the Winnie the Pooh thing. Let me know what you think about this whole kind of knee-jerk censorship that happens in China. I, I'm curious. Like, maybe you've heard of other examples that we haven't heard about. Yeah. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And also, don't forget to drop a like if you like... Uh, I'm going to stop saying like the video. Drop okay. a like if you like... Uh, I'm looking around to see something I like. Being I cut like... off by a taxi. <laughs> yeah, that's not... No one likes that, so they won't drop that like. Okay. Oh, if you like massages and saunas. Yeah, that that's looks nice. That's relaxing. dodgy as hell. In the middle Holy of this crap. truck stop place. Did I just say drop a like if you like prostitution? Probably, yeah. Okay, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. And uh, yeah, guys, whether you're a very sensitive, thin-skinned little little person or a, a very thick-skinned little person, we <laughs> love you all the same. <laughs> so until next time, you know, the drill as always, unlike uh, the, the sort of trash and stuff burning of plastic um, going on over here, uh, stay awesome. Don't forget, guys, every single Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go watch ADV China. You can actually watch another one right here. Every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go check out Laudy 6. And right below that, you can watch Serpents at A every single Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks.